Hi, and welcome to another episode of Talk It Up with Tierra Monique. I am Tierra Monique, and it is time to talk it up. Well, hello, hello. Welcome back, y'all. It's another week. It's been a whole week. Um, when you're listening to this or watching this, um, you will. it will be Friday. Going up, it should be Friday at 8 o'clock on the YouTube channel, Talk It Up with Tierra Monique. Um, I hope you all had a great week. If you're not listening to this on the day that I posted it, Still, welcome and thank you for your support. I hope you all are having a great day. And if you're not having a great day, if you didn't have a great week, I hope it gets better for you. I hope God turns it all around for you like he always does. And trust and believe that the, this too shall pass. <laughs> so cliche, but it's so true. So welcome back to another episode. I do have some news. Maybe not so good news. <laughs> so... Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. If you're looking for this episode on um, my podcast, um, that my audible, I should say audible, but my audio version of this podcast, which is usually on Anchor.fm and other podcast um, streaming services, you're not going to find it. Why? Because as of right now, and the last three episodes that I've done, are only on YouTube and not because I don't want to be on um, I don't want to be on the podcast streaming service anymore it's just that I haven't figured out <laughs> how to extract the audio from my videos to upload to the podcast so until I figure that out right now all you're gonna see is me on the YouTube channel and um, excuse me my eyes watering because it's late <laughs> It's, it's late here where I am, but, um, yes, uh, only on YouTube, but if this is your first time joining me, welcome, and you can go back and listen to all the other 65 previous episodes that I've done, audio only, um, on Anchor.fm, Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher Podcasts, Spotify, um, Overcast, just Google me, talk it up with Tierra Monique Podcast, and you'll find me, and you can listen to all of these other 65 um, other podcast episodes that I have um, on there, and um, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> but um, I hope you all enjoy the last couple of um, podcast um, episodes that were um, video only. Uh, if you haven't watched them yet, go, go, go. Um, and thank you <laughs> and bear with me. It is late. I um, had a busy day today with work and um, homeschooling my five-year-old well, with virtual learning. So um, my day got away from me, but I said I'm going to do it before I go to bed and, um, and I'm having a hair day kind of day <laughs> situation. <laughs> Uh, which I am like, you know, I don't normally, if you've ever watched any of my videos, I'm all, I always have a swoop, right? It's like this, like my, it's like my security blanket. I don't know. I don't know. I have this thing about my forehead. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, so I got my scarf. I, you know, I picked up some little blue to match my blue. Oh, yeah, if you like this shirt, God Vibes, you can go and find it at um, dondestees.com. Um, you can find this shirt there. It's really cool. It's really stretchable. Stretchable. It's really stretchy and breathable. It's not stiff. And um, this is uh, extra large, I believe. It's all unisex. So I think this is extra large. But no, this is a large. This is a large unisex shirt. And I'm a I'm a thick one. So um, this large fits me pretty well. And it's not too big and it's not too tight at all. So. All right, glad we got that out of the way. <laughs> welcome again, welcome again, welcome again. Um, uh, this is Talk It Up with Tierra Monique, and I am Tierra Monique, and this podcast is all about helping people through my life journey, my life experiences, to let you know that you're not in this fight alone, you're not going through this life alone, and that your situation is not unique to you. It may be some things that's specific to you, but we all go through things in, in various ways. And it's, we all go through the same things, just in various different ways. And um, I want to help you. And um, and if you've never gone through any of the things I've, 
that I've talked about on the podcast, that's great. Hopefully you won't ever have to go through any of those. And hopefully my um, uh, stories to you um, or my, you know, I don't know, you know, my tell-alls basically <laughs> will help you to not want to go down those roads and ha um, make any the same mistakes that I made. Um, I don't think that our mistakes are for ourselves. We go through things, they're lessons. And when we learn from them, we need to tell someone else about them. And even when we don't learn from them and we keep making them over and over again, we should still tell someone about them because we can save someone else from going down the same road as us. Okay, okay. So <laughs> so with all that being said, let's go ahead and pray so we can get into this um, nice, juicy topic today. So God, we thank you. We give you all the praise and all the glory for today. I thank you for my listeners, my watchers, my viewers, my subscribers. Um, we ask you, God, that you will help us in this dating world. Uh, we help actually help us in this pandemic world um, to have better discernment, to be more kind, to more loving to one another, to focus on healing our inner selves um, more than trying to fix our, our outer selves, our outer appearance. And then maybe focus on you and, and ask for your guidance, your wisdom in all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Amen. So, as you can hear on my in my prayer, um, today's topic is, <laughs> I just forgot, <laughs> I told you it's late. Today's topic is, do this, don't do that. Online dating tips. Okay, so here's my backstory. Um, I have been um, single, uh, officially, um, since July 2015. And um, I was pregnant at the time. And um, that relationship ended very abruptly. Um, it was very brief and it was not what I thought it was going to be. But um, uh, so, yeah, I've been I have been single for officially for six years. I was married for almost 12 or 11 years. We were together for a while for, for 14. And um, so I've been divorced for seven, officially single for six. I had, a, I had I've had some situationships. I will say I've had some situations. Look, this whole thing is <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> it's moving. I don't wear a lot of scarves. I wear when I wear a scarf, I wear them to bed. But anyway, we're gonna keep it moving, okay? It is what it's gonna be. Um, so um I have been um single for a while and um I've been out dating. I've been on dating apps since 2014. Um, and here it is, 2021. I haven't been on dating apps the whole entire time, but I've had experiences with dating apps. So I know some things that you should know about dating apps. And so basically it's just the do's and don'ts of dating apps. And if you're thinking about getting on online dating, I know some people are still a little hesitant about getting on dating apps. Um, even in 2021, even in the pandemic, when you can't go anywhere really <laughs> without, you know, your mask going. So, uh, I think dating, uh, dating apps are a great tool for you to, um, get out there. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of today's episode, I have a black legacy moment. So our black legacy moment person of the week is Dr. Joy Harden Bradford. And she is the founder of Therapy for Black Girls, okay? So I have some notes about her. Um, so I want to go ahead and say that Therapy for Black Girls is a therapy site. It's a website, therapy for, therapyforblackgirls.com. And so, so often the stigmas, stigma surrounding mental health issues and therapy prevents black women from taking the step of seeing a therapist. This space was developed to present a mental health topics in a way that feels more accessible and relevant. Dr. Joy Harden Bradford is a licensed psychologist, speaker, and the host of the popular mental health podcast, Therapy for Black Girls. So yes, not only is it a website where you can find a therapist, she also has a very, very, very um, good podcast called Therapy for Black Girls. Dr. Joy Harford's Sorry, Dr. Joy Harden Bradford's work focuses on making mental health topics more relevant 
inaccessible for black women and she delights in using pop culture to illustrate psychological concepts. She has been featured in the O Magazine, Forbes, Bustle, MTV, Huffington Post, Black Enterprise, Refinery29, Teen Vogue, and Essence. Therapy for Black Girls is an online space dedicated to encouraging the mental wellness of Black women and girls. So, my Black Legacy Person of the Week is Dr. Joy Harden Bradford. I salute you, Queen, because you are opening up um, a realm of a taboo place in the Black community. For so long, Black um, women have been told that they need to keep everything in and only go to God. When in actuality, um, not only do we need our supernatural, we need the natural as well. We need God and we need therapy. And yes, prayer is awesome and prayer does work, but we need God and we need therapy. We need someone that we can talk to, who can talk back to us and tell us what to do, how to do it and how to get through it. Yes, the Holy Spirit does that too. But if God didn't want us to go to therapy, then why would he create therapists? And you can ask God to guide you on which therapist to choose. You can go to therapyforblackgirls.com and put your information in there. Put your address and your email, not your, I'm sorry, not your email, your address in there. And they will, they will give you a list of um, black therapists. I even saw a white therapist on there. So it's not just all black therapists. But they will give you a, a, um, a list of therapists in your area where you can um, go and get your therapy on, get your healing on, you know, release all those things that's inside of you, inside of you. you know, as women, um, not only as a woman, but as a black woman, we have so many things that we hold on ourselves and that's, that weighs us down, you know, from being mothers, from being wives and spouses and girlfriends and um, a sister and friends. There's just so many things that we, we deal with that we don't tell anyone about. Um, so we need someone to help us and um, you need therapy. So thank you so much, Dr. Joy Harden Bradford, <laughs> for opening up this great, great opportunity for black women to not be afraid um, to go to therapy and for having an amazing podcast called Therapy for Black Girls. Um, to um, d dive into topics that are taboo, just like I do. All right, thank you. So that's our Black Legacy moment, Dr. Joy Harden Bradford. We salute you. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that's me being silly. Look at me. I gotta. Fi I'm gonna fix this. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, y'all. I fixed it. <laughs> got my curly cues here on the side I'm getting it together I'm getting it together I'm getting it together all right so we done all that did our welcome we did our black legacy moment I don't have a story time this week like seriously I know last week I was like oh I don't have a story time but I did um, I think my story time it may come somewhere throughout here when I'm telling you um, the do's and don'ts of um, of online dating but <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this okay so do this don't do that. You can do this or you can do that. Hey, you can do this or you can do that. <laughs> All right, so online dating. Here you are. You're single and you decide that, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and try this online thing. I'm going to go ahead and see what it's all about. Um, and um, you don't know where to start. So first. Okay, I got my got my tips, got my got my notes here. There are many. First of all, there are many, 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 many um, dating apps. Okay, too many. I think it, it's just too many. But there's like millions and millions and millions of people in this world. So, I mean, I guess there has to be more than five. I guess. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a list of the dating apps. Okay. So there are your I call your free ones that you can you know pl you can play for free, okay? Um, there's Bumble, Hinge, POF, Tinder, 
BLK, which I think is owned by the same couple who did um, Black Love, but I could be wrong. Um, the Black Love docuseries on OWN. Um, so yeah, Bumble Hinge, POF, which is Plenty of Fish, Tinder, and BLK. All right, those are your free ones. You can get up there, peruse. I think POF may have started to try to get, charge you. I haven't been on there for years. Um, but yeah. Then you have your pay-to-play. I call them pay-to-plays. Your pay-to-plays are Match.com, eHarmony, Coffee Meets Bagel. Yeah, it sounds weird, but I was on there. Uh, OkCupid, Zeusk, um, Upward Dating, which is a Christian dating app, and Christian Mingle. Now, I will say, out of all of these, <laughs> I have tried all of these dating apps. I'm not ashamed, okay? This is... This is my hot moment. This is my honest, open, and transparent moment. I have been on all of these. Well, maybe not eHarmony. Oh, well, no. well, I'll take that back. When I first, when divorce was done, I think I did. I think I tried eHarmony, but I didn't. It was a lot. Like, I, I had to fill out so much. I was like, I don't want to fill out no dick on essay. I mean, if I tell, if I fill out all this, they're going to know everything about me. So, I mean, what, it was weird to me. Anyway, so I was like, I mean, what kind of conversation are we going to have? So, yeah, but I have, <laughs> I have tried all of those. That's how single, how long I've been single. I've been single too long. I have tried, how many is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. I will say this. Upward Dating and Christian Mingle are no different than any of the other ones. Just because it says Christian does not mean it's fair game now. And I have, and I'm, and my thing is doing this again. Oh, this is crazy. So, um, they don't matter. That doesn't matter at all because it's some, people will hop on a Christian website thinking they're going to find a church girl. Um, uh, you know, because they say that, you know, Church girls are like a lady in the street and a freak in the bed type thing, um, which sometimes that can be true. Um, but yeah, I don't, I, if you're looking for a Christian man, don't just try to go on Christian mingle or upward dating um, because it's, it's, it doesn't matter. They out here trying to get in your drawers just like the, any other man. Okay. All right. So with that backstory... Here we go. So, dating tips, okay? Dating tips. Um, the first thing you wanna know when signing up for a uh, dating, um, dating site, a dating app, okay? The first thing you wanna know is do you wanna pay or do you wanna just do something free? And that's why I gave you a list of all those because if you don't wanna pay, um, there's still some good ones like Bumble and Hinge um, are really good if you don't want to pay, but you still want to meet some quality men. Because I say that because Tinder is straight hookup. You know, you, when you hear Tinder, it's straight hookup. People just want to hook up. Okay, of course you have your swipe right, swipe left with with Bumble and Hinge as well, but um, it's it's less. I want to hook up. Okay. Um, Match.com is pretty cool. You do have to pay in order for somebody to message you. <laughs> so it's like, okay, what well, I'm up here for? And it is cost a pretty penny. It's like $38, I think. It starts at like 30 something dollars and goes up. And I think it's like maybe for three months and something like that. So I have paid before. I ain't gonna lie, I've paid before and it still wasn't nothing. Um, still single. Uh, so yeah, so that's one thing before you even want to sign up. Do I want to pay? Do I want to invest with money or do I want to just go on the free apps and see how it goes? Now, some of the free apps, they do have, um, pay features. Like if you want to see it, like on Bumble, if you want to see who liked you first before you like them, you can pay like $3 and 99 cents or $3 and 49 cents a day. Or they do have like $9.99 for seven days or something like that. Um, 
for you to pay. That's if you just, if you want to take the excitement and the thrill out of it and you're like, oh, look, I just want to go ahead and um, see who el who liked me first before I, you know, I might miss out on my Prince Charming or my, my queen or whatever. So, yeah, you can do that. Um, so, that's one one. Do I want to pay or do I want to go free? So, yeah, that's that. The next thing you want to think about is the do's, okay? So do. So do know that. Do if you want to pay. Do know if you want to pay and do if you don't want to pay. Um, the second thing before I um, stop this video and go to my, I'm going to have to do something here because um, my time is about to come up on my video thing. <laughs> so <laughs> I might have to go ahead and, uh, first of all, let me disconnect this Wi-Fi. I'm being very transparent right now because I know if I keep that Wi-Fi on, it is going to um, it's going to glitch up, glitch me up. So I'm not going to do that today. All right. So we're just going to play, keep playing with this today. Oops, that might look a little better. Anyway, so number one. So the first one was not that wasn't really number one. That was like just you know, do you want to pay or do you want to be free? Okay. Number one. Do be single, seriously, do be single. Don't be married and in a relationship, signing up for a dating app. If you are not single, why are you here? I don't know how many times I have signed up for a dating app, had a whole conversation with someone, we match, we talk, we have a good time talking, and the next thing I find out is they're in a whole relationship or they or they are in a polygamous marriage where they're they're looking for a third person now there are some couples who say hey we're looking for a third person like they're right right out there and then there are some who are like okay i'm gonna go ahead and let my husband find you know the third the third wheel and then reel her in i've had a lot of conversations a lot especially where i live in this military area that i live in there are there are people who are looking for a third person seriously so like i and so this one guy told me that he was oh you know it's so great talking to you we just talked talk, 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 talk and he goes well, i have to tell you something you know i'm married and my wife and i are just looking for a third person and she just wants to have somebody and so you know when i'm away in deployment she can have somebody that you know that we both trust and um i'm like well why don't then if why pick a woman then like, no, men don't want another man in their bed. They rather have another woman in their bed, right? I mean, the whole thing is crazy, but yes. So be single. It's sad that you have to get on a dating app and ask someone, are you single, single? Why do you, look, y'all for real. Let's just go ahead and just be like this. Why are you asking someone if you're single, single? Are you single, single? What is that? Are you single, single? Really? I mean, you would think that if someone is on the app, they're single. No, they're not. Um, there are men on there who are on the down low. I'm not talking about down low like they're gay. Like, they have a whole girlfriend at the house and they want to talk to you. And I'm going to get into that a little bit later, but yeah. That's it. Yeah, I got. Yeah, you gonna keep it moving. All right. So be single. Don't get on the app if you if you're in a whole relationship. Be in that relationship. Don't get on the app. Okay. Okay. Two. So two. So one. Do be single. Okay. Don't be married in a relationship. Okay. Okay. So two. Sign up if you want to really be seen and get to know someone don't sign up if you're trying to just play around now i can say this there are dating apps where if you're just trying to play and hook up there are apps for that but i think that i know for me the older i get i'm 39 nobody has time to be playing around with nobody like seriously like 
I'm on an app because I want to find someone and get to know someone and build a friendship and not just build a friendship just to have, just to have a friend to go hang out with, but someone that I'm going to, who's on the same level as me, who wants a relationship, who wants a serious commitment, who wants marriage on the line, who's family oriented. We have the same likes and, you know, common interests and, you know, I ain't up here trying to play around and play and play a game. I'm not. So if you really want to be seen, sign up. So just sign up. Don't sit around and say, oh, I wish I had somebody, and you're not doing anything to do to, to, to meet anyone. You're not signing up for a dating app. You're not going to any social events, which is limited because of, of the pandemic. Um... And you're just, you know, woe is me. I wish I had somebody on a Friday night now or whatever. And it's, the truth is that you can. You can have someone if you really want to. Um, I wrote this down when I was thinking about this. And uh, the podcast quote of the day, I'm getting, getting to this early, but if you want to play the game, you have to get on the field. If you want to play the game, you have to get on the field. If you want to be in a relationship, you have to get out there and put yourself in a situation to be seen. No one's going to see you on your couch. No one's going to see you in a corner somewhere at the grocery store. People aren't approaching anyone at the stores. They wearing masks. They don't see what's going on, like me. <laughs> I'm having uh, breakouts. I'm having breakouts. I'm having hair things. But still, people are not really approaching anybody because of the mask and because of uh, because of the, the the pandemic and um, and then people are afraid of approaching people because they don't know what their their status is and they don't want to you know get rejected. But if you want to play the game, you have to get on the field. If you want to be in a relationship, if you want companionship, if you want marriage, you got to put yourself out there. Okay. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna come back with the, with number three through nine in just a minute. Okay, okay. All right, welcome back, y'all. Okay, so number one, we said for the do this and do that for online dating is be single, don't be married. Okay, or in a, or in a relationship. Number two is do sign up and put yourself out there. Okay. You know, rejection may happen, but you just keep it moving. Don't wish you had someone and don't sign up because of fear um, and complain. You don't have nobody when you can if you just sign up. Okay? Okay. All right. Number three for do this, don't do that. Online dating tips. Number three. So now you've signed up. You decided which app you want to be on and you're single, you're putting yourself out there. When you're doing your profile, do post pictures that are recent. Don't post pictures of yourself from three years ago if you don't look like that person from three, three years ago, okay? So I have been guilty of this by posting pictures from two years ago of like me, like from the from the neck up, it's like oh, like nothing around here has really has changed. <laughs> but like my hair color is different, or like I may have an extra this. <laughs> I may have extra extra things going on over here. But yes, don't post pictures of you from yesteryear, especially now that we've been through COVID and a lot of us have added on weight because of COVID because we're sitting around the house, we're not exercising as much as we can. Some of us may have been down and out because we may have lost our jobs or things have gone on in our lives, unfortunately, that have put us in a situation where um, uh, we are you know, not able to um, be out like we want to be. So I would say that you should um, post recent pictures. And if someone doesn't like the way you look, they don't like the way you look. If, if someone can accept you for who you are, where you are right now, then they can keep it moving. If someone doesn't want to accept these pimples on my face, 
because that's reality. No woman is walking around all glammed up all the time. Things happen. Hormones happen. I mean, shoot, I'm 39. My cycle still comes on, and this is what happens when it comes on. Even with all the water that I drink, all the fruits and vegetables that I drink, all the sleep that I'm trying to get, <laughs> and um, and the you know the cleansing, um, my cleansing routine, pimples are still gonna pop up. Um, so let if you want if you want to do better about your health and get healthier and slim up or whatever for yourself, do it for yourself. But don't feel like you have to post a picture or upload a picture of you from when you think you felt or you look the best. If that's not the way you look like right now, that's not how you look. If you've gotten darker because of the sun, put up a recent picture. Um, don't go into it with a lie. If you go into something with a lie, you're already starting, you know, in the negative. You're already starting behind and you should and you shouldn't want to do that. You would you want to start ahead. So post the real you. Um, don't post the old you if you don't look like that anymore. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, oh, <laughs> I wrote a note here. My example of that was, uh, guys, they like wear their hats. Like don't pictures, don't post a picture of yourself where it's like your accessory is going to make you look totally different. I forgot about that. Okay. So yeah, before I go to the next one. So, okay, guys, I know you're balding or you know you don't look like you did 20 years ago and you're not supposed to um and some guys when they put that hat on they look totally different it's like oh he okay you get hat catfish <laughs> because they look totally different just like y'all guys always saying you know hey you know when she has her hair and her makeup on she looks totally different when she takes it off this is the same thing for y'all. Y'all wearing these hats. Y'all posting all these pictures with these hats on. And we can't really see what you look like. And then we go and meet you. And you don't have your hat on. And you look different. We're like, wait a minute. That's not the guy that I saw in the picture. So if you want to post pictures with your hat on, that's fine. But also post pictures of yourself without the hat. So we can see your the shape of your head. And see how you look without the hat. Because if I have on a hat, all you, all you see is this right here. I don't see what your whole head looked like. If all you saw a woman with is with her weave and then she didn't have it no more, you're like, wait a minute, that's you? If you only saw a woman with a picture where she's fully, you know, done up and got all this makeup on, and then you and then one day y'all go to the <laughs> go to the amusement park and she gets wet at the at the uh, at the water park and her makeup starts to come off or she falls asleep on your shoulder. And her makeup starts to rub off and she has to go wash off her face. And you're like, wait a minute, that's not the girl I saw in the picture. So yes. So ladies and gents, okay, post pictures of yourself with your hats and with your accessories and with your hair. And also post pictures of you without the hair and without the hats. Because if you don't accept who you are, how are you going to expect us to accept you for who you are? If you don't like who you are, then I can't like you for who you are. Okay? Okay. All right. I'm glad I looked down at that because I forgot that had to happen to me. And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's getting late. All right. So that was number three. So number four is do tell your real name. Don't lie and give fake names. So there has been this thing, I don't know, for the past couple months, I have met guys on a dating app and they will give me a name and I'm thinking that's their name. And we're talking and talking for a couple of days and in my head, I'm associating this name, let's say for instance, you know, the guy's name is, I don't know, Green Chef. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, his name was Green, right? I'm thinking, oh, okay. Hey, Green. And I'm talking to him for three days. And then he finally asked me for my number because we're having a good vibe. We're good. You know, we're having some good vibes, some God vibes. <laughs> and we're conversating. And then he says, can, we, can I get your number? And I go, okay. You know, and we'll get to that later about the number thing. So, you know, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll give you my number. So then we get on the phone 
offline and I go, hey, and I say their name, well, hey, hey, Green, how you doing? And they go, oh, my name's not Green, my name is Blue. I'm like, what? You, what? Why did you, well, is that your nickname? Is that your middle name? Oh, no, no, no. I just put that out there because, you know, you just never know about people. We on a whole dating app. I didn't ask you for your last name. You don't have to put your last name. I don't know your address. I don't know your social security number or your date of birth. So why are you going to lie about your name? Don't lie about your name. Because for me, if you're lying about your name up front and, you, and I go a whole three days of talking to you and then we exchange numbers and then at the end of that conversation, you tell me that that's not your name, you've lied to me. And that is a trigger for me, okay? You don't know someone's triggers. So if you're if you're honest up front, then it allows the conversation and, and the friendship and the trust to build a little bit better, okay? If you're if I find out that's not your real name and you just gave me a fake name because you don't know what's gonna happen, you don't you don't you don't people are crazy these days. Really? Are you that paranoid? That means you're gonna lie about something else stupid. And I ain't got time for that, okay? Okay. So don't give out fake names. Don't give out fake information because you're afraid someone's going to look look you up. How am I going to look you up if I don't know your whole name? <laughs> now, when you give me your last name, I'm going to Google you. Okay? Okay. But um, if I only know your first name, I only know your first name. You don't have to give out, you know, all of your demographics, all of your information right up front. You're still getting to know someone. You're, you're still trying to figure out if you, you can trust them enough to give out that information. But don't give out a fake first name, especially if it's not your nickname. Okay? Okay. All right. So number five. Number five, number five, number five. Your, the do is be open to something new. Okay? That's a do. The don't is don't look for what you're used to. Okay? So here it is. You're always looking for the same person. And so you close yourself off and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm, I want love, but I keep going and looking for the same thing that I used to have before. Um, what, you, what you're used to and what you used to have didn't serve you. So why do you think it's going to serve you in the future? I think I've said this before in another podcast on my audio podcast, which you can find on your um, podcast streaming devices. Talk it up with Tierra Monique. <laughs> I've talked about this before on one of my previous podcasts from I think a couple years ago. That um, uh, your type that you've always run to is not the type that you need to have. See, what you want is not always what you need. So if I'm always going, for me personally, if I'm always um, trying to go after the Spanish looking guy or the really light skinned guy then I may miss out on my blessing or I may miss out on the great guy for me um, who's over in the dark, who's, who's dark skin or maybe another nationality. Now, I know there's a lot of people who's pro-black, you know, power and you only want to date black people. That's fine. I'm not telling you to step outside of your comfort zone and date someone outside your race. That's your business. That's your prerogative. What I would say is that, you know, Search your heart and, and and find out, you know, why you're um, closed off to stepping out of your comfort zone in certain areas. Um, I know a lot of people want only want to date in their race to continue the legacy in their family with that race. And that is awesome. That is awesome. But if you're doing it because um, you saw someone else being hurt before or you're just afraid... Um, then just check your heart and ask God to help you and ask God to show you, you know, what you should do and who you should, um, talk to on the apps, because there's a lot of great, good looking men on there, whether they're white, black, or Puerto Rican, or, uh, Asian, or, um, uh, you know, Arab, anything. Um, but uh, I know you like what you like, but just be open to something new. I mean, if you've always... Uh, dated tall men. Try a short man. <laughs> Nothing wrong with them. Security is not in um, the height of a man. A, a man is not going to be more committed to you because he's 6'1 than a man who's 5'6. 
I mean, there are good men in all different sizes, okay? And for you men, there are good women who look differently. Everybody's not going to be a bo have the body yada 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 yada. I don't really know that song, but I've heard that. <laughs> I've heard that before. I know who sings it, but I'm just saying they're not gonna, they're not going to have the Instagram body. If you're always attracted to that, you need to ask yourself why. Why am I always attracted to the Instagram body type woman? Why am I always attracted to um, the dime piece? Um, because if that person, if you're always attracted to that person, you have to look in yourself and say, why? Why am I always attracted to those women who use me and, um, and once I don't give them what they want, they ghost me? So, I mean, you just have to check, check yourself, you know, and check and find out, you know, what's important, what I need or what I want. And you'll, sometimes you'll find that what you, uh, what you, uh, need is what you really want. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, number six. Okay. So number six, a do know what you want and make it clear. Okay. And the don't is don't get caught in the go with the flow trap. Okay, so so the do. Know what you want and make it clear. Okay, when you get on a dating app, you want to know what you want and you want to make it clear. When you fill out the little, depending on which app you um, that you sign up for, some apps ask you right off the bat, are you here for... Um, something casual? Are you here for a relationship? Are you looking for marriage? Um, or you just don't know yet? Um, to me, I don't think you should be on an app if you don't know what you want. Okay? So if you know what you want, if you know you want something casual, then say it. If you know you want a relationship, say it. If you know you just want to hook up, say it. If you know you want to be married, say it. Um, don't go on, don't go on an app not knowing what you want. And don't, sign up on a, for an app and just go with the flow because you're just wasting your time and someone else's time trying to go with the flow. What's go with the flow? Go with the flow is a waste of time. I've been there, done that. Oh, this person looks so good. We have a great conversation, but they don't know what they want. They just want to, they just want to go with the flow. Hey, you know, let's just go with the flow. Go with the flow with what? Where are we going? Are we going with the flow of, of getting to know each other to possibly see if we want to be in a relationship with one another? Because I'm not trying to go with, go with the flow to nothing and to nowhere. So know what you want up front and don't fall in the trap of the go with the flow. Don't fall in the trap also of um, getting burnt out with dating apps and just starting to date anybody and anything. No. If you want a relationship, stick to people who want relationships. If you want to get married, stick to someone who wants to get married. If you want something casual, stick to someone who wants something casual. Now, something casual doesn't have to mean you're looking for someone to have sex with. Something casual can mean I just want to meet someone that I can go hang out with right now. I'm not ready to commit, but I am ready for friendship. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if that's not what you want, if you just don't want just friendship, um, then stick with, which, stick with what you know. Stick what you know. If you know what you want, know what you want. Okay? All right. Um, oh, yeah. Don't be afraid to stand for what you want and um, and what you don't want. Okay? Be willing to walk away if someone's playing games. Because um, there are some people out there who say they want a relationship, but they don't. They want the idea of a relationship. They want what they think the relationship is going to bring, the benefits of it, which most men on dating apps, I won't say all, I say the ones that I've met. How about that? The ones that I've encountered, um, they think the relationship includes sex. Re relationship does not include sex. Marriage does. I'm not a, and I'm not a virgin. <laughs> and I'm not innocent. But don't go with the mindset of relationships equal sex. No. Okay? All right. So they'll say, oh, I want a relationship because they... They know that there are a lot of women out here who want to be in a committed relationship before they have sex. And they don't really want, they don't really want a relationship. And they try to move really fast to get into a relationship so they can have sex with you. Don't fall for that trap. Okay? Okay. Um, number seven. 
Number seven. Do initiate the conversation. Once you swiped right and um, you said yes or you press the heart or you press a star or whatever and you like that person, you don't have to wait for them to talk to you because you're both probably on this in the same thing. Oh, I'm going to wait for her or I'm going to wait for him. Now, there are some apps where the woman had Bumble is an app where you have to initiate the conversation as a woman first. So you swipe right. And then once you swipe right, then it like goes like this. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it's like a game. It goes boom. Y'all, both of y'all profile pictures go boom, boom, boom. And um, and uh, then I'll say, um, hey, you know, tell so-and-so you like them or initiate a conversation with them. And you have to say something to them as the woman first. And it's supposed to like empower the woman to be able to make the first step um, with initiating a conversation but sometimes that can be a trap because I know for me I can have like 30 people that I've matched with and I now have to say hello to all of them in a different way or hello hi whatever like that and then you know not even half of those will respond so it's you know don't take it personally you know some people really really um use dating apps like a game or an ego boost to see who, who likes them and who doesn't, to see if they still got it, you know? So that's why you have to know what you want and you have to be intentional about dating and the dating apps and not use it just for just as a game. It may feel like a game because you're swiping right and you're swiping left, but it's not a game. People's hearts are not games. So don't play on people's hearts. If you wanna go play a game, get your Xbox out, your PS5, go to Top Golf somewhere and play a game. Don't play. Don't get on dating apps to play with people's hearts, okay? Okay. That was for somebody, you know. I don't know who it was for, but it was for somebody. I'm going to have to invest in a wig or something, y'all. Because <laughs> this thing is getting on my nerves, okay? So, you do in so do initiate the conversation. Say hello. How are you? Go back to their profile. Try to find, you know, quirky ways to say hello. If you see that they like shrimp, say, hey, shrimp lover, how you doing? You know, something like that, you know. Um, you see like football, you know, hey, I see you like football, blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, I like, I like uh, Alabama. Go Bama. Roll Tide. <laughs> no haters. I just said no haters. Um, anything, you know, um, there's a reason why you both like each other. So find something on their profile that, you know, that, that really, you know, stood out to you and, um, use that as a conversation starter. Or there are some apps that actually have like, um, they have advice on how to start a conversation like Match.com does, um, Bumble does, I think Hinge does, um, they, okay, Cupid does, where they give, they, they give you tips on how to, you know, start a conversation. And they have like um, these options, these features where you can like click on it and like say hello and it may, it may send the person a gift. Is it GIF or GIF? G-I-F? Is it GIF or, or GIF? But it sends them a little, little you know, fun, quirky, um, you know, video, you know, that whatever, message to just to start the conversation off. They even have questions and like icebreakers and stuff like that. So you can use that if you want to use it. And you can pick what you want to send and what you don't want to send on some apps as well. Okay, so, so don't be afraid to start the conversation. If they don't respond, they don't respond. It's nothing personal. Don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. Every time I hear that, <laughs> I think about Jermaine Jackson. Don't take it personal. Take the bitter with the sweet. Hey, easy come, easy go. Don't take it personal. They don't know you and you don't know them. And people are gonna people are gonna think they like you and then not like you. Oh. I can tell you why you shouldn't take it personal. If there's somebody like me, if you're up late at night and sometimes you can't sleep like like me, I I get insomnia. If um I'll get on if I'm not on Instagram or if I'm not being holier than thou, <laughs> which is nothing wrong with that. Which is like you know I'll if I didn't do my um one of my Bible devotional plans for the day if I didn't get to it 
because I had signed up for too many anyway, so I know. I signed up for too many, and then I ended up having too many to, com to complete, which I need to stop doing that. But anyway, um, I'll get on the dating app, and then I'll just be swiping. And then, like, you're half sleep, you're half woke, and you're just swiping, swiping, swiping. And you're not even looking at the profiles. You're just swiping to see whoever really catches your eye. And the next day, you'll get a notification that's saying that, oh, you know, you have a new person. You know, someone matched with you. And you go look and you go, oh, no, I don't. No, nah, they're separated. <laughs> or no, they smoke cigarettes. Or just things that you don't, you know, you don't really want. And you only swiped right on them because they look good. So that may have happened to you. They may have swiped right on you because you look good. But then once they looked at your profile, your profile didn't match up with what they wanted. So you may have said hello to them and they just may have not decided to respond back. And some people respond back and say, hey, you know, I saw this, like me, I've done this before. I'll say, hey, I saw that you want more children and I don't. Um, I don't want to, you know, lead you on and think that I would be interested in kids if this got serious. Hey, boom. The guy was like, oh, I'm fine with it. I know. I know he's just saying that because we haven't talked yet. But if you want kids and I don't want kids, there's no need for us to be having a whole conversation and, and getting serious and nothing because I'm not going to change my mind. Not at all. Not at all. Okay? Okay. Yeah, my I'm not going to change on that. Um... Uh, my womb is closed. Um, no vacancies. <laughs> I am done with kids. So, yeah. Anyway, I got I got off on a tangent about that one, okay? So, yeah. So, make it clear what you want. Um, don't go with the flow. Um, and keep it moving, okay? Did I say that? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm backtracked. <laughs> I meant initiate the conversation. Don't be afraid of rejection. Um, it is what it's going to be. Um, don't wait for someone else to try to strike up the conversation. If you're interested, you're interested. Just say, just say you are. The one thing about online dating is that all you have to do is use your fingers to do the talking. It's not like when you're, you're out in public and you're at an event or you're at a lounge or at the grocery store and you're afraid of rejection and you want, don't want to walk over to someone and, you know, give your your best to try to get you know get a number or whatever and they turn you down and then you walk away and you feel like you're like <laughs> you feel like the shame walk oh i just i didn't get their number look you just use your fingers hey how you doing they don't respond okay unmatch them i mean no harm no foul okay okay Num that was number seven number eight Follow through. Follow through. Once you've initiated the conversation, now y'all are having a conversation. Y'all been talking for a couple days, maybe a good week, and it's consistent. Now there are some people who don't who are not consistent, okay? You know, that's why I said do follow through. Follow through. If you have the time, have the time. If you don't if you don't have time to be dating anybody right now because your work schedule is so busy, don't get on a dating app looking for a relationship. Say you're looking for a companionship. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of truck drivers on these dating apps, okay? If you're on a dating app because you want somebody to talk to while you're driving across country, then say so. I'm looking for somebody to talk to keep me to keep me company while I drive across country. You never know. That conversation may turn into your future wife. That conversation may turn to your future future husband. There are women out here who are truck drivers as well. If you're if you are too busy to um to date, don't get on a dating app saying you want a relationship. Just get on a dating app saying I'm looking for a companionship, something casual, not sex. Just looking for someone to talk to, you know, because my schedule is very busy and I don't really have a lot of time to actually physically meet up with someone and commit to a consistent a consistent flow and that's it um so yeah don't do that um but yeah but once you once you commit it and say yes i want to go ahead and talk to this person not committed to a relationship this is like you committed to being consistent with them and conversation and communication with them with getting to know them on the app and you decide you want to go ahead and take a step further like exchanging phone numbers 
or doing video chats or um, even phone calling. The great thing about dating apps there that they have really um, upgraded their features. So now you can talk to someone and you can video chat with them without even giving them your number. I mean, it's easy way. You don't even have to give them your number to talk to them. Hey, you want to talk? Okay, there's a video feature chat. Boop, let's go in here. Let's talk. Let me see what you really look like. You know, let me see what you look like without your head. <laughs> without your weed. Let me see what you look like. Now, I will say, don't just pop up on somebody. Don't, that's rude. Don't just hit the video chat and you trying to call them and video chat with them and you didn't ask them. Ask first. Hey, are you available to talk right now? I really, I would really like to talk to you um, or video chat with you. Come on now. Common courtesy is to ask first. Don't just force someone to talk to you um, by video, by way of video chat if they're not ready to talk to you. We're not always ready, okay? Women aren't always ready. I may be walking around the house looking crazy, and you want to video chat me. I'm not ready. I'm, and plus, I may be busy. Um, so yes. Um, don't do that, but do follow through, um, do ask for the number, do try to initiate a video chat, um, or even a phone call through the app <clears throat> and stay consistent. Don't go stag. If a, don't go stag. I want to say this before I have to just, I want to say this. <laughs> I have to say this. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? I have to say this. I have to say this. I have to say this. If a person goes MIA, missing in action, not MIA Miami, missing in action for a whole weekend, or they can't, or they can only talk to you or text you during the day, and then when nightfall comes, you don't ever hear from them again, them again until the morning time, they are not available. They're in a whole relationship or they are married. And I'm not talking about just men. Women do the same thing. So if you've been talking to this person Monday through Friday all day, except for at nighttime, they claim they got to go to bed early because they got to wake up in the morning, which could be true. But then the weekend, which, but they tell you that they don't work on the weekends and the weekend comes around, then, and they're, and they're not available to talk to you. They have a whole family. And I know there are men and women out here who have children and they're single moms and single dads and they have their children on the weekends. That's the only time they can talk, really hang out with their kids. Then say so. Say, I would love to talk to you on the weekends. Let me let you know when I'm free, when I'm not around my kids. You can still text when you have your kids. Don't give me the bull doo-doo and saying, oh, I had my son. I had my daughter. That's why I couldn't text you. Yes, you can be present. There's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with being present, you know, and not being on your phone and letting your children see you um, not distracted and focusing on them. But I know for me, my kids are not always right next to me. They're in the room playing video games. They're watching movies. When we're not together, in the living room together, watching stuff together. You're not always with your kids every second, every moment of the time that y'all together. So don't play that bull crap, okay? Um, be honest and upfront. So if you see that, that is a huge yellow red flag. I say yellow red flag because someone may not just don't know how to prior how to really uh, prioritize that. But to me, it's a red flag because I'm asking questions now. I'm asking questions. Why is, uh, what did you do this weekend? <laughs> and we may not, you may not feel like I have to ask you that question. You may feel like you obligated to answer. But if you tell me that you're so interested in me and we're having a great conversation, we're vibing and we're talking every day and then you go MIA for the, every weekend, something is up. Um, yeah, that, Please be on the lookout for that. That, nah, nah, that ain't cool. And you know that ain't cool. And you know that's not right. And as soon as you realize it, do not be afraid to walk away from him or her. I don't care how good they look. I don't care how much of a good person 
or a good woman or a good man they are. They are a good they are a good woman and good man for whoever they're with. And they're really not. Because if they're talking to you and they have a whole relationship and a whole marriage, they're not good at all. They're really not good. A, they're not good at being in relationships and being faithful. And they need, they need to get, get themselves off of dating apps. So just be mindful, okay? That that is that is happening all the time. Okay? Okay. Um, and so number nine is my last thing. And we done <coughs> um, is have fun. That's a do. Your do is to have fun. And the don't is don't be a Debbie Downer. Don't be a Debbie Downer. So I'm going to explain this. So do have fun. Um, talk to many people. Talk to different. Oh, I skipped one. I did skip one. I'm going to go ahead and put this with number nine together. So, um, have fun. Talk to more than one person. Now, I know a lot of people say, oh, um, you should focus on one person. No. You do not focus on one person until there is a mutual agreement that you all are going to be exclusively dating each other. And there's nobody else. You're not focusing on nobody else and he's not focusing on anybody else and you are you have decided to either delete your profile or deactivate your profile um together in front of each other hey let's go ahead and deactivate this right now um you do not have to focus on one person <laughs> i'm telling you i've tried that i have convinced myself i have met met plenty of people where i thought they were the best thing since like oh my gosh oh my gosh you know and then i focus only on them and then what happens as soon as they decide they don't they don't like me anymore they don't want to talk to me anymore they ghost me um and um and then i'm like oh i could have been giving my talking time to other people because now here I am trying to start all over again, trying to build stuff. I could be building stuff with many different people. I'm not saying building something serious with everyone, but you know who you like when you like them and you know who have, who's on the same page as you and who has a good vibe. Yes, we're getting older. Yes, that happens. But until you are exclusive, I don't think that you should be only talking to one person unless you all have mutually decided to do that. And y'all no longer on the dating apps because if your dating app is profile is still active then you're not focused only on me and i'm not focused only on you so have fun and get to know many different people dating is all about investigative work you're investigating someone you're collecting data you're getting to know know that person and it's process of elimination and have conversations past um uh what what's your favorite color and what's your favorite sports team once you get past that you need to start getting deeper you know uh what do, what do you do when you're angry how do you hang a comp how do you handle confrontation what is your relationships like with your family um how often do you see your children what happened in your past relationship that you wish you didn't do that you hope that you don't do again what did you learn from your past relationships? How are you with money? Are you in debt? Do you have debt? What is your plan for that? Ask real questions. Because relationship, if you want a relationship, you have to get into the deep part of a person, not just superficial. Because if I only know what's up here, then when something serious happens, you turn into Dr. Dr. Hyde. And all I've seen was Dr. Jekyll. I'm like, well, who was this person? This person was always there. You just didn't do enough uh, research. You weren't asking the right questions to, to find that out. And you weren't spending time with that person enough. Have those conversations. And make a point to uh, go out with that person. Don't only talk to someone on the phone and that's it. Yes, the pandemic is happening, but people are still out here going on dates you can go on a date if you only want to you want to be 
socially distance, be socially distanced. If you're vaccinated, you're both vaccinated, and you still want to make sure you're socially distanced, just do that. But don't only talk to someone for months and months on the phone and y'all never see each other. Because you're not have, you're not able to see how the person interacts with other people. And how they are out in the public. When well, Anybody can be anybody or say anything over the phone and on video chat. You don't really know a person until you see how they are in the world. And that's the truth. So don't only talk to one person, okay? And so have fun, okay? And then don't be a Debbie Downer. Uh, a Debbie Downer is someone, I've seen this many times, it's someone who has just broken up with someone and they get on a dating app trying to find someone to erase the memory of that person. And, they, and their profile <laughs> says, don't. Don't text me if you're this. Don't message me if you're this. Don't do this. And I don't like this. And just negative. Just negative. Sir, go and heal. Get off this app and heal from her. Women do it too. Go and heal, sis. Go and heal, bro. You're not supposed to be on this app. If you listen to all of this stuff. Get the F out of my face of you this. I don't want to hear that S. It's like, oh, just negative. I want to hear that. Who wants to start having a conversation with that? Guys, don't do that. I know you were hurt and the last woman hurt you and she was all of these things. But you don't have to list all those things in your profile. It's just negative. I know when I see it, I'm swiping left. I don't want to talk to you because obviously you're still hurting from her. And if I and if I get in a conversation with you, you're gonna you're gonna be comparing me to her and thinking that I'm gonna do the same thing that she did to you. I ain't got time for that. I don't have time for that. You need to heal off the app. <laughs> so don't be a Debbie Downer. Women don't do the same thing too. Don't don't go on a dating app um, thinking you're gonna that thinking you're gonna run into the you're going to encounter the same person. That you just got hurt by. Like every man is that person. Every man is not that person. Now yes, you may encounter. If you were messing with a jerk. There are going to be jerks in the app too. But every man on the app is not a jerk. Every man on the app is not looking to get in your drawers. Unless you want them to. So if you're posting pictures. I didn't say this earlier. But if you're posting pictures of yourself. And a whole bunch of tight stuff. And showing your body. What do you think, they, what do you think that that man wants to do to you? Not to say that he should. But men are visual creatures. And if you're showing them everything they can have, they're gonna want, they want to taste it. If you're showing me the food and it looks good, I want to try it. And that's how they think. So, you know, you can still show your body and not show your body. Okay, you got a booty. You, it don't got to be up on top of the kitchen sink and in the, in the, <laughs> the bathroom sink. He'll see it when y'all meet. Okay, okay. So, that's it. <laughs> I'm tired, y'all. That's it. I can see. I can hear my voice. Mm. Let me get my tea. Mm, what is that? Lemon? Yes. Um. That's it, y'all. I'm gonna go back through them right quick. Okay. So one. Be single. Be single. Okay. Don't be married. Be single, do be single, don't be married, okay? When you sign up. Two, uh, go ahead and take the leap of faith and sign up. Don't mope and groan and wait and say, I don't, I'm never going to meet anybody. Well, you can't meet anybody if you're not on the site, if you're not putting yourself out there. Like I said, if you want to play the game, you have to get on the field, okay? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, three, post pictures that are recent. Don't post old pictures if you don't look like that, okay? Post recent pictures, okay? Don't post old pictures and don't post pictures of you, of you showing your body. If someone only sees your abs and your butt, then they're going to think that's all you're about is your figure and possibly sex, to be honest. That's what I'm thinking. So I know other women think the same thing. And I know other men think the same thing too. Okay? Okay. Uh, four, do tell your real name. 
don't put a fake name up there. Put your first name or your middle name up there or a nickname. But don't put a fake name on there, okay? Don't call, don't put your don't put Carolina Panthers. That ain't your name. <laughs> put your name. If your name is Jim, your name is Jim. If they call you Jay, then put Jay. But you don't have to put a fake name, okay? Nobody's coming to look for you. It ain't that serious, okay? Okay. Five. Be open to something new. Don't go on a dating app looking for the same man, the same woman. That that woman and that man hurt you and did not serve you in your past and are not going to serve you well in your future, okay? So try something new. Look for something new, um, but also someone that you're compatible with, okay? Um, six, know what you want and make it clear. Don't go up there saying, I don't know what I want. Know what you want relationship marriage something casual a friendship know what you want make it clear don't just go with the flow okay okay seven initiate the conversation don't wait for the first person don't wait for the man to make the, to make the first step and don't wait for her to make the first step um all you gotta do is say hi and keep it moving if they don't respond they don't respond there's always more people out there okay there's more fish in the sea is what they say um number eight is follow through, follow through, follow through. Um, if you've gone a whole week talking to each other, go ahead and um, now talk on the phone, video chat, use the features that's on the dating app. They're there for you for free. Some are for free. Now, there are some apps who want to charge you to use those features. Um, but like I said, Bumble is free. Um, Number nine, have fun, have fun, have fun. Um, don't hesitate to talk to more than one person. And then when you decide you want to go ahead and make it exclusive, make sure it's a mutual thing. Don't just throw out there, you know, and have a vague conversation about it. And y'all didn't mutually um, decide that. So don't put all your eggs on, in the basket um, in the beginning, I would say, in the beginning. Um, and don't be a Debbie Downer. Don't bring all that negativity from your past relationships and your past situationships onto the dating app and being negative in your profile, okay? Don't list all the don'ts, okay? I don't want this, I don't want that. Just say, you know, who you are and what you're looking for and that's it. Don't post the negatives because people aren't going to want to talk to you, okay? Okay, and I wrote this down. Oh, don't forget that being a Christian is not enough for compatibility, just because we're Christians don't mean we're going to be good, great together. Because there's other things outside of us being Christians that make up who we are. I'm a Christian. I like documentaries and walking on trails. And I like football. I've met quite a few men on dating apps who don't like football. But we both like God. That ain't going to work for me. I want somebody who likes football because I love football. I like watching football. And football comes throughout the week. Now, do you have to love football as much as I do? No. But I would hope that you would like it enough that you would want to sit down and watch it with me or go to a game with me because those are the experiences that I want to share with the person that I love. And if that's not something that you like and you don't care for it, then unfortunately, we, we're, not, we're not a good fit. And I'm okay with that. And you can look good as Denzel or Shamar Moore or Idris. I'm still going to be good with saying, I mean, I hope I am. <laughs> I hope I am, but you know, we shall see. <laughs> All right, and that's it, y'all. So don't forget, you know, if you want to play the game, you gotta get on, you gotta get on the dating field. <sighs> I know dating, you don't want to look at dating as a game, but it's not a game in a sense where, like, you know, you're playing with people's hearts and like that. But it is the game of life, and if you want to meet people and you want to get in a relationship and you want to have a great uh, <clears throat> opportunity to, to you know to have the love and the and your forever best friend and your life partner again you got to put yourself out there you got to face face your fears of rejection and know that it's not personal and that you know everybody is not everybody all you need is one person you don't need the 30 people who are in your like box you need one of them that's it one one who um, have the same common interests, one who may, who may, um, uh, who want what you want and who's committed to the process of getting to know you 
and to seeing if you all were fit it can go further you know there's steps to this you know you're you're getting to know each other there's data and then you're trying to see if this person is right for my life and then you get and then you get exclusive whether you're dating and then hopefully it goes to relationship and then hopefully it goes to marriage or that's job one so those are the do's and don'ts of online dating i hope you all enjoyed this episode i don't know how long this is i had to cut this up in a couple of <laughs> a couple of things i had to stop it a couple of times this day gonna thing i mean really though <laughs> oh my gosh i should name the podcast thing name it um the 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 scarf the scarf challenge how long can this scarf stay on my head <laughs> Oh my gosh, you have to laugh at yourself. You know, I mean, life is too hard already where if you're not laughing at yourself, I mean, then what are you doing? You have to laugh at yourself. I got my little tendrils here, my little curls here. Um, so thank you again for another, um, for joining me for another episode of Talk It Out with Tierra Monique. Again, you can reach me um, on Instagram at Talk It Up with Tierra Monique on Facebook and um, on my website at everythingtierramonique.com. I have uploaded a new blog under my blog um, page called My Three Cents <clears throat> on my page. So once you go to everythingtierramonique.com, up in the top, you'll see Three Cents, My Three Cents. You click on that and you can read my latest blog. Um, call almost doesn't count or well, you're almost there. I don't forgot the name of it, but it's called almost doesn't count. I think, <laughs> but I am committed to, to uploading a new, um, blog each week. So that is the one for this week. Mm, excuse me. Um, and I will upload another one next week. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, uh, don't forget that this, the videos, um, my episodes are video only now until I can figure out how to extract the audio from the video and upload it to my pod, my audio podcast version, version. But in the meantime, you can still go back. If you're new to me, you're new to me. If you're new to this, uh, channel, you can go back to, um, listen to all 65 episodes um, on anchor.fm, Apple, Google, Stitcher podcast, and Spotify and Apple. Did I say Apple already? I think I did. <laughs> but yeah, you can do that. So until next time, seek God first and all you do. Love yourself and love others. Um, be kind to yourself and other people. Um, don't forget dating is okay. It's a challenge. But it's worth it if you're willing to commit to the process and if you're intentional about dating with purpose. Okay? Okay. All right. So until next time, God bless you and smooches. Bye.